here, ready to feel the rumble. I'll send it back to you guys over in Hawthorne. Thanks, Dan. Teams are also getting excited here uh, at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. There is a pretty large crowd uh, <laughs> now gathering out. Seven, five, four, three. Vehicle is pitching down range. We're seeing 32 out of 33 engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is... <laughs> This is our view of the jettisoned hot stage, uh, as we mentioned this. And after its coast phase, it will attempt a controlled re-entry, including a flip maneuver and a landing burn. Portion of the booster, this is basically on top of the super heavy booster, where we have jettisoned that hot stage. So I now we can signal. see this incredible view. And you can see those grid fins on your left hand screen, rotating and turning we'll turn to guide the booster. And there's that landing burn. Congratulations to the SpaceX team. The incredible, the first successful splashdown of the super heavy booster. Only nine minutes ago. How has it only been nine minutes? 7.50 a.m. Central at 12.50 UTC. At those speeds, the spacecraft moving through the atmosphere results in friction and creates a plasma field around the vehicle. That plasma blanket, which you can kind of see here, distorts communication frequencies. So we're left with a brief blackout in communication. Um, so these views are gonna be through Starlink. We've got this one. This is in one of the forward flaps looking back. So if you- hand corner, you can also follow along with the altitude of ship as it's returning back to earth. Made it through what's expected to be the peak heating, but now we're gonna start encountering increased pressures. Which is incredible to see. <laughs> How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens just cracked. <laughs> Despite not being able to see very much, the fact that it's there tells us the ship is still alive. That movement means the flaps are actuating. I think we can see something. And the crowd is very excited to get this view of that flap still maneuvering. Starship is passing through five kilometers altitude. Starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal velocity. Starship is in landing burn. Landing burn, shipping. The, the landing burn shutdown was commanded. Starship made it through re-entry uh, and did its first ever landing burn.
Vehicle is pitching down range. We're seeing 32 out of 33 engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is... <laughs> This is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned this, and after its coast phase, it will attempt a controlled re-entry, including a flip maneuver and a landing burn. Portion of the booster, this is basically on top of the super heavy booster, where we have jettisoned that hot stage, so I now we can see know. this incredible view. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen, rotating and turning turn to guide the booster, and there's that landing burn. Congratulations to the SpaceX team. The incredible, the first successful splashdown of the super heavy booster. Only nine minutes ago. How has it only been nine minutes? 7.50 a.m. Central at 12.50 UTC.